I'm gonna go throw my hair up in a ponytail so I don't get paint all in it. And then it's time to start painting. Hi, yo. myself it's just wet and gloomy and kind of nasty out today it's just not a very nice day and I thought oh, today I'm gonna make a house cleaning day but I decided I'm gonna come upstairs and change into some junk clothes because I'm about to put if I can find my junk clothes these might work I just need a pair of pants that don't fit right anymore Perfect, I got a pair. Anyway, um, I decided I was going to come up, get changed, and paint the living room because the problem I've been having with cleaning the living room is everything's pulled out and kind of in the center and we're always walking around it and tripping over stuff right now and it's just, it's a disaster. So I thought, you know what? Let's get the last wall done. And I think all the walls are gonna need I know, I'm a mess this morning. I have not gotten ready yet. Um, all the walls are gonna need a third coat, I think, but that's gonna be a really fast coat for me to put on. I think I can complete it all today if I get started now. So that's what I decided to do, and we're doing a quick, easy dinner tonight. We're putting ribs in to slow roast in the oven tonight, and then I think we're just gonna throw some barbecue sauce on it. So this is a perfect day. It's cold, it's gloomy, it's not like ultra motivating. And I thought, you know what, let's just brighten up the house, get the living room set up and everything ready to clean tomorrow and just hit all the house cleaning tomorrow and start fresh for the week. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm super pumped about it. Normally Sunday is my project day, but I think I'm going to make this a project weekend. So that way next weekend, hopefully cross your fingers. Next weekend, I can either start the painting on the kitchen or get the radiator in the living room painted. And I can do the radiator with the living room set up because that's just a matter of hanging up a little bit of plastic and taping around. I do use tape for that because I have to, there's like these little, oh, I don't have any up here. Um, there's these like circular things that go down onto the floor and then up on the ceiling. So I have to tape around there so I can paint those and not hit the fresh paint that's already there. So yeah, now you know, long spiel, but that's what's going on today. I am, it's a project weekend, you guys. So let's get to it. Oh, and video status. Hopefully my vlog will come out at a decent hour today because I, my uploading process is this. At the end of the day, I plug my camera into the computer and then I upload the videos into the computer, which normally takes about maybe five, 10 minutes, if that. And then I go back and I upload them to YouTube and usually I'll just leave the page up and go to bed and let them upload overnight. Because sometimes, I mean, like if I have 30 or 40 clips, I mean, that can take a couple of hours of uploading. But it's usually not more than that. So I woke up this morning and I always check the app on my phone to see what's all uploaded. And I looked and there were only 14 out of 21 videos uploaded for, for this vlog. And I was like, oh, what's going on? Well then I went in to look and it was saying like two and a half hour processing time for each video. And I was like, something is going on. Maybe we need to reset our internet. It's running really slow. Well, we were kind of talking back and forth about it because if you've watched some of our previous vlogs, you know that we've had a lot of issues with our internet in this area. And I was kind of worried about doing that because 
when we've reset our internet before, sometimes it doesn't want to come back. And I'm like, do I just want to deal with slow internet until the weekend's over? And then if something happens, we can talk to him on Monday and yada, yada. So the decision was made for me because all of a sudden we heard a big boom and a transformer blew here in town. So all our power went out, the internet reset. And when it did, it came back with faster uploading speed, but it's still like a 30 second video, maybe one to two minutes to upload and process is what it should be. And it's taking, if that, I mean, if that, that's like at its slowest, it's taking like 20 minutes to 22 minutes of video right now, no matter what the length is. And I'm afraid some of the longer ones are going to take even longer than that. So we'll see what time the vlog actually comes out today. So if the vlog's later today, this is no fault of mine. It's actually my internet being crazy. Yesterday was totally my fault. I forgot I even had the vlog finished and then I was like, it was 1030 at night and I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't put the vlog out yet. So that was on me yesterday, but today it's my internet. Right now I'm gonna get changed into some painting clothes and then we're gonna get started on that living room. Right, so even though it's not a standard like day for me and this is gonna be a project day, I still wanna keep because I told you I've been going on this journey of getting my house to a place where it's it's not a matter of cleaning it every day, it's a matter of maintaining it every day. Just making it, there's more, it's more minimal, I guess. I guess, I don't know. I don't know exactly what, but that's what I'm trying to achieve is something like that, where the house has been completely decluttered, um, only the things that we absolutely love are in the house instead of these extra things you never know what to do with. That's what I've been working on. So lots and lots of decluttering, lots of projects, lots of finding storage space for the things that we do love that makes it more utilizable and the kids are, the toys that they're playing with are toys that they love to play with. They're easily accessible, but they're not junking up the house. Those are some of the things that I've been working on over the past month, two months, whatever, since, you know, this journey has been not just like a two month thing. This has been an ongoing thing, I think, throughout my adult life. And it's becoming more fine tuned for me now. And so I want to get it to a place where it's, it's just like second nature. You know, I guess that's what I could say. So anyway, part of that for me is maintaining those little things that help keep that going in the right direction. One of which is making the beds in the house every day. And I know I still need a real bed spread, but right now two queen blankets are doing it. So that's how I make my bed every morning is with two queen blankets. But I think I finally found the right bed set and it's in the right price. Now if I could just find a second set of sheets and then making sure that the kids beds are made as well in the morning because that helps them maintain their rooms. It's easy for them when they walk in and the beds made for them to see that their things aren't put away and like look at this Ireland's room and it's hard to see because it's so dark in here right now. There's no light on but Ireland's room has been maintaining itself. Now the boys room is still a project and still needs work done, but I want to get this living room finished and then I think we'll make that another weekend project where we're trying to work on getting their room, but they actually need better storage, I think a better entertainment center in their room. So their room is going to probably be a project a lot like the living room plus the leak needs to get fixed in on the roof. So that's one of the big things before I can even begin to repair the damage, put some drywall in the spot, because that's gonna have to happen. That can't be a matter of patchwork. It's gonna have to be a sheet of drywall is put where that leaking damage happened and possibly on the ceiling too. So lots of stuff going on, you guys. Always is, it's an old house, but I do believe it's gonna be worth it when it's done. Yeah, so their room is kind of just a matter of keeping it picked up but there's no real rhyme or reason to their room right now. Ireland has a lot more rhyme and reason to her room, so does Tierlin. Um, but I know this girl's waiting for a coat of paint and stuff. And this is not her permanent room either. So I don't know if I really want to paint over the paneling. Because paneling is a pain in the butt to paint over. And a lot of times the paint will like peel off of it and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see if I'm even going to paint this room or just leave it paneled until we tear it apart. Anyway, I'm going to go in and check on our lovely rat friend here. And I know it's dark, you guys, but I just want to make sure she's doing okay. Since her mama passed away. Hey, Nala. Nala. Hey. Hi. 
Hi, honey. Hi. Don't know if you can see her, but she's in there. She's doing good. Hi, pretty girl. You want a treat? Do you want a treat? Oh, she came to see me. Hello. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out, pretty girl. Oh, hello. Hello. What are you doing all right? Look at you. You're all perky. She says, oh, I hear treats. I hear treats. Look at her go. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I'm going to go throw my hair up in a ponytail so I don't get paint all in it. And then it's time to start painting. I've got a load of laundry still going. Yes, I am still on the laundry journey, and it is so close to being done. It was so crazy to go through the house and have to look for a full load of lights to wash. But darks are still a battle yet, so we'll see. And I think I think I have one more load of lights till those or till of whites till those are all caught up. Because I really don't wash like white socks and stuff separately. I wash like white pillows and stuff separately and bleach those out. I don't use a whole lot of regular bleach. I use color safe bleach. So yeah, that journey is finally coming to a close and then it's just a matter of maintaining it. So I'm excited. All right, let's get this painting done. before that gets done but maybe next weekend if I have everything I want to get done in this room done then I'm going to start the kitchen painting so that'll be awesome yeah it looks great kids are watching Beetlejuice yeah, I think it looks awesome all right guys it's the end of our night and I just wanted to end the vlog I did not get any writing in so if you watched the vlog yesterday then you'll know that I was trying to motivate myself and push myself to get more writing in. However, like I've said, life does not always fit in a scheduled box. And Aspen just went to bed. It's 1.17 in the morning. And Aspen just went to bed probably about 20 minutes ago. And so no have, writing for this mama tonight. And we have severe internet issues. Yes, and internet issues. But that doesn't affect my writing because that's all done on a zip drive. Anyway, now I've bothered Duke and he wants out, so... <sighs> we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.